Bolt here. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of an experiment with some toothpicks. So if you look here, I've got a whole bunch of toothpicks just in case I don't break them the right way. Um, you're only going to really need five for this. I have some water and I have a straw. Now if you don't have a straw, you can use like a little dropper, um, but I don't have a dropper. I just have straws. So I'll show you why we need that in a little bit. But first, we're going to start with the to toothpicks. Now you need to be very careful with these because toothpicks can be sharp. If you push on them hard enough, it's going to hurt. So I don't want you to push on the pointy end. Now this experiment for me, I have a different kind of toothpick. If you look really closely at mine, it has a rounded end that's a little bit thicker and then it has the pointy end. This works better if you have a pointy end on both sides, but this is just what I happen to have at home. So what we're gonna do is we're going to very carefully break five toothpicks in half without breaking them apart completely. So I'm gonna show you, try to get as close to the middle as you can, and I'm gonna try to break one. You're just gonna bend it until it just gives way, and I already broke this one wrong. If it breaks like this, that's not going to work. All right, so then that's why I grabbed a whole pile of toothpicks because it might take a couple of tries I already practiced this once and I knew that that was a possibility of it happening. So I'm gonna try again. You're really just trying to bend it just enough so that it'll break a little. That's a little bit better. I don't have quite as much. So there, just like that. You almost just wanna bend it. You're not really breaking it. This one has a little bit hanging off, but that might work for what we're doing. So we're gonna wanna try to get five of these. Hopefully I can get five pretty quickly. Okay, that's not quite in the middle, but it'll work for now. So that one is already broken. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get as close to the middle as you can. Mine aren't perfect. Four. And hopefully five. I see Leroy's already trying to help out a little bit here. He likes playing with straws, I've discovered. I hope that one didn't work. All right, I need that. Thank you, sir. <laughs> another one now hopefully you have enough toothpicks to do this for it to break the right way okay this one's a little bit better now remember you just want them to be bent not completely broken you want it to be attached still so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have all of the bent parts facing in and we're going to make a star and you want it to be pretty close together and if you need to bend it a little more to get it there, that's okay. I hope I'll grab that in a minute. Thank you. Oops. And this one. Let's see if I can get this to shapen up. <laughs> Leroy just really wants to be in this video tonight, doesn't he? All right. Something is not lining up. I think I just need to bend them a little bit more. Leroy, no. <laughs> there we go, yeah. So sometimes you just need to kind of mess with them a little bit to see if you can get them to get the right shape. <laughs> all right. So as you can see, I've got a little bit of a star shape going here, all right? So what we're going to do is we're gonna take our water, and like I said, I do not have like a little dropper. If you have a dropper, it probably might work a little bit better than a straw. So I don't know if you've ever played with your straws in your drinks before, but if you dip it in and then cover the top with your finger, it creates a vacuum, and then you can have water coming out of it. So hopefully I can do this before Leroy messes up my star. So I'm just gonna get some water in here, and we're gonna watch this star grow. And we're going to carefully drop in some water. And because mine weren't quite even, it's not quite working the way it should, but it's pretty close. 
And you're gonna wanna do this on a smooth surface, that way the water can move. And as you see, we have a growing star. So I want you, when you do this, you can do it with a star, it takes five toothpicks, but you can also try to make some other shapes on your own too. So if you wanna to try to make a diamond or a square or a triangle, just to see if you can get it to work and do this. The more you can get it broken in the middle, the better it will be just because then all of the edges will meet up a little bit better. So I hope you guys enjoy doing this.